Fourth of July carnage stories are incredible. I, I just continue here. I just continue. Biggie, Biggie had one firsthand. He was down in Florida. He was in Florida where his niece is. How old are they now? Three? Yeah, they're almost four. And they went to see you and I know this. There are things now. My daughter still goes at age 13. These places where you go and jump. There's one here called Get Air. She was just there yesterday, as a matter of fact. And they're like trampolines and jumping. They have them for little kids areas and teens and stuff. Okay. You bounce off the walls and everything, don't you? They do. Oh, yeah. You can play basketball while bouncing and volleyball. I mean, it's... Really? Yeah. I mean, I think it's a... I mean, I think that you could twist a knee very easily. Oh, these yeah. are the places that I hear of adults going. Yeah. And they think, because it's a trampoline... That their joints can take it, and they end up bouncing and smashing their ankle in half. Ooh, yeah, but I think for kids, oh. it's paradise. Yeah. Oh, they love it. My, my son's. I don't think I'll ever darken the door of one. No, I no, I don't plan on it. No, I didn't think I would either. But your nieces, yes. And this trip, because I am feeling better, this trip was my. I'm saying yes to anything they asked me to do. You said that ahead of time. Yeah, because I want to prove to them too that I am feeling much, much better. Right. So if they asked me to do it this trip, I said yes. So your brother-in-law said, I'm taking him to the trampoline park tomorrow. Do you want to go? Yes. The answer is yes. Mm-hmm. What did you think in your heart of hearts, Biggie? I do not want to go to the trampoline park. <laughs> they are miserable. They, I mean, I, unless you can't even imagine the volume level. <laughs> Loud. Screeching. Loud. Yeah. And because uh, they're huge, right? They are. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're giant. Echoey and yeah. reverberating. And it's, I'd wear earplugs. That's what I'd do. Well. There you are. I, Smart. I was there once for a birthday party and wrote probably 20 games of put up or shut up rock and roll trivia while I was in. This was years ago. Is there an adult area or are you just in it? You're just in it. This one, you're they, mixed in. A they, lobby. they have a lobby with like okay. little tables. Yeah. You know, that's about it where you can sit and do work or whatever. But Biggie. <laughs> for the parents who don't care about their Correct. children. Yeah. Exactly. Well, I figure, hey. <laughs> They got people They can bounce off everything. Right. I'm not going to. Yeah. Till they come screaming to me. And my daughter is famous for coming out and saying, I want a smoothie. And I'll say, here, get it. I don't care. That, yeah, that's get, what he did with them at the end. Here. Just take they had an ice cream machine. He's yes. like, here, get, get which ice cream you Whatever want. Whatever you want. Yeah. I just, boy, I'm different. Do they all, how much, what's the percentage of puking in the car? Or do you, if you, <laughs> you get it after, it's not as Good bad. Question. Yeah, I don't know. Man, I had, I want to get to your story, but. I was trying to redeem myself from Moneyball, the pickleball disaster that I had. Curtis, uh, Curtis is in my ear, by the way, also. Yeah, He's mine like, too. Hey, <laughs> what? I don't think yeah. Dave knows about your debacle. On, on, remember I was talking about Moneyball, my pickleball? Yeah. On 4th of July. Right. I played so bad, I mean so poorly. I, every, they, by the end, they were all hitting the ball to me because they knew. I was so awful, and yeah. we lost almost every game. A twelve and fifteen year old beat us and just like crotch pointed. They didn't come. It was all, twelve and fifteen. They won the tournament. They won the, they whole won the thing. money. They won the money. Uh, ringers, great players, nonetheless. And is this has caused Kelly mm-hmm. to remove become best pickleball player in the state? Yep. over the age of fifty oh. from his vision board. It's off my vision board. Mm-hmm. My dream board is now one lighter at this point. What's number one now? Retire. <laughs> uh, get through the yep. day. Abs. <laughs> abs. Survive. Abs. Survive the day. <laughs> Any of these will work. Look oh, better naked. Try, yes. Do anything to have a V-shape naked. That's all I want. That's all I want. This I don't whole. know why, but anyway. So to redeem myself, I entered a smaller pickleball tournament on Saturday. <laughs> All right. A low-rent pickleball tournament? <laughs> That's right. Got back on Friday. Diesel said, I can get us in. I can slot us in on Saturday. I said, do it. Just do it. Anything's better than this memory I have. <laughs> well, they had – we started. Men's double started about an hour later. Women's double started. And we're all out there together. And I was in the middle of a very tense match for the bronze medal. <laughs> <laughs> for the bronze. <laughs> and I was serving. And Diesel – all of a sudden, Diesel, my partner, said, oh, my God. And I looked over, and a woman on the court next to us just spewed, every, threw up everywhere. Yeah. And vomit just came cascading out of her mouth. Wow. And Diesel said, my bag's over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And it was. <laughs> it was. I got to go check on her. <laughs> on her? Well, no, my bag. Yeah. <laughs> All his equipment was over there. And it was, he's a brand ambassador. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking. What happened? You can't walk around with puked on head tennis. <laughs> it's a head ball racket. Bag. I know. <laughs> Some old bag vomited. <laughs> and I mean, 
She was like apologizing, but it was very, very hot. That'll do it. Is Dude. it the heat and too much Gatorade? Or I mean, not yes, enough? but it was. I mean, she, I looked over and and somebody said, "Are you okay?" And in the middle of it, she <laughs> again. Oh God, I'm sorry. It's all. <laughs> I'll be done in a minute. I'm not even supposed to be here. This is a twelve year old people. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Janky ass pickleball tournament. Oh, I just, and we were slotted in last minute. She put, and at one point she put her hand over her mouth and then vomited. Oh. You know, just awful. I mean, just terrible. And then, you know, they went over and they poured water all over it, which shut down that court because now there's Wet. water all yeah. over it. They squeezed that, That's hazmat. And the poor thing was sitting on a bench, and people were bringing her water and whatever, you know. Cold towel around her neck. Yes, but I was in the middle of serving, and uh, it it started to, you could smell. I mean, it was the oh, vomit. Yeah. Was what do you eat one? I, I don't know what in the world went on. But anyway, that was going on, and you were asking about vomiting. Biggie was down at his at this at the niece's jumping place, and your brother-in-law said, what, just act like you belong? Yeah, I once said, is there going to be any trouble? He said, no, just walk in, act like you know what you're doing. Trouble. Well, because <laughs> see, they don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know. <laughs> you know you go to these places sometimes. <laughs> no. Well, <'cause> you're in <laughs> shark territory now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You have to. We're the Jets. The greatest. <laughs> what are you doing here? There's going to be a rumble tonight. You stay over at Jumping Fun. This is, this is, this get, is get Air. air. <laughs> I think it was Get Air. <laughs> get Air is yeah. a big one. Get yeah. Air is a really big one. That's where my daughter goes. Well, because nothing, you know, nothing's ever easy. That, you, that's that's the question. Because I was walk like, into a jump. You have thing? to fill out a waiver. Yes. Who do? Everybody. Everybody. If you're gonna jump or even be on the jumping floor, you have to fill out a waiver. <laughs> because Biggie was there, he doesn't have children of his own. No. Well, that's what happened. I walk in <laughs> mm -hmm. and I just skip past these computers that are there. But you're with your family. No, he went ahead of me. That's it. So they're there already. <laughs> right. So I'm Here walking in. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord Jesus. So I'm walking in alone. And listening to him, which I never should have done, and I just cruise past these computers, past everyone working, and I'm halfway up these steps, and I hear, sir, uh -oh. sir, uh -oh. yep. sir, you have to check in. Yep. And, um, but I'm not. Yeah, yeah, that's what I yeah. said. I said, I'm just watching, yeah. which was the wrong thing to yell. Yeah. Yeah. Jumping <laughs> fun. A lot of kids there. I ain't here. I ain't got no kids. I'm watching. I'm kids. watching. Yeah. I'm watching. I'm just here. watching them bounce. Right, right. So, <laughs> do you have children? No. no. <laughs> I just want to watch them bounce. Not yet. <laughs> so, and that's what. I, so I go back. I have to. You're right. The waiver takes forever. Ten minutes of unnecessary everything. What do they want? Well, it's you fill it out. You can the smart folks fill it out online, which yeah. I've done many times. After I learned, if you do it once, are you good? Yes, you're good. Once you do, so you could go back to that get air right now. Yeah, just walk right in. Checked in. Yeah, and you you should. Well. <laughs> Take advantage. Well, after after, Take after advantage. I, I sign all this waiver, she the lady's like, you have to come to the desk. Mm -hmm. And I go over and she said, now, are you jumping today? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, do you want to see some of these kids touch the rafters? <laughs> kids I'm supposed to say yes to everything. <laughs> 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 and, so and she got a <laughs> Carson! <laughs> Kids with crack heads. Yeah. Those are big warehouses. How'd you crack like your like, head? Yeah. I hit the Over roof. the rafters. Yes. <laughs> so. So I finally walk up. I find my nieces and my brother-in-law. And I have the conversation which we just had, which, because he's just letting them run everywhere. Mm -hmm. And he's just like you were. Yeah. And I said, shouldn't one of us, like, watch the exit? He goes, no, there's only one way out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, right. and he's like, they'll stop him if anyone tries to. Yeah. I'm like, how? How would they know? <laughs> But then my mother shows up, and she's the opposite. She's everywhere with them, yes. following along. Yeah. No, he did jump some. He was mm -hmm. on. He did. He jump. did. Your brother-in-law. Yeah. yeah, and uh, so he was kind of out there with them. But my mom and I stayed. But at one point, like you said, this place is giant. It Huge. has different sections alone. And I found. I went and sat on a bench for a while, and I started looking through my phone. Mm -hmm. The next thing I know, there's no one around me it's just me my family is gone and there's this little boy in a ball pit 
Mm-hmm. And he just keeps waving at me. Mm. And I'm Daddy? Like, <laughs> and I said, I was like, don't wave at me, little boy. Right. Like, they can come back here and think right. I'm back here trying to steal you. That's right. You don't want that. No. I'm sure you're on camera, too. A oh, thousand cameras. A thousand cameras, yeah. And that's what I did the whole time. I'd walk up, because my niece is just everywhere. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'd walk to... They'd yell, watch me, Yep. and I'd watch them do something. And then they'd run across the parks, and i have to walk that way, walk back. Another little game they play is uh, if you show up so many times, like kids will go in there with just flip-flops on or whatever, you got to buy socks. They have to, they'll have they sell you the socks. So you can't yeah. jump barefooted. No. You no, they have get special that. socks on. They, they go all the time. They have, they have like little uh, shock absorbers on the bottom or rubber yeah. on the bottom so you don't slip oh, that down. That sounds like yeah. a racket. You have to oh. have those socks, too. Yeah, And that's just it. They're members, so they have all this yep. already. We so have they, it, too, but prepared. if my daughter forgets, Gets, then you, you get there. You're yeah. buy a new pair. You're gonna buy a new pair. Every time. Yeah. And it's not like a bowling alley. You just spray the right. shoes. Did they offer you socks? <laughs> <laughs> no, not once I told them I wasn't jumping. But you're were... a fall risk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll get them on the way out. <laughs> I will tell you. <laughs> I'll grab those. In the what? <laughs> yeah. Well, well, you're in a gift shop. <laughs> Your sidewalk slippery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those would be good. I've never felt safer walking though, because everything is padded. That's right. Or it's a foam pit. So yeah, I'm like, right. oh, this exactly. Is perfect. Right. I did watch one lady eat it. Well, because well, yeah. there's always someone who shouldn't be out there. An mm-hmm. adult. Yeah, and mm-hmm. she was bouncing and bouncing. She tried to jump from one to the other and missed and just ate it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, when adults try it, hurt. I was like, that's gonna hurt. Absolutely. I'm surprised there's not an ambulance outside those places every day. Now we're gonna finish the. We have still some more of those. Yeah, fourth we have more Florida oh, yeah. And then I, my son just said who do you take two great athletes against each other and i'll give you that either or in a moment you're gonna right. it blew my mind all right, all right. go ahead i misspoke not florida carnage it's fourth of july carnage right uh, residents in one new hampshire town will never forget fourth of july 2022 locals and tourists on pierce island woke up the morning of the fourth headed to the city's outdoor pool at pierce island unfortunately when they got there all they saw was a sign. That's a big pool, too, by the way. They were expecting 500 people. 500 people. Mm, yeah. The sign read, pool closed. On the 4th of July. On the 4th of July. Someone, someone who may have seen too many movies, jumped the fence the night before and took a huge dump in the pool. <laughs> Dang it. You just God, it ruined it for 500 people. You got to clean the whole thing. Yeah. You have to drain it. You were a lifeguard. No, you don't drain you it. You don't drain it. <laughs> <laughs> that's that takes only, days. The last that's thing. only in Caddyshack. Dude, only in Caddyshack do you drain it. Drain, <laughs> draining takes days. Too long. Use your breath. That's right. <laughs> so uh, two things. One, they had to shock the pool, which means douse it with chemicals, mostly chlorine or whatever they use. Yes. And no one could be in that day because the mix of chemicals is off. God, you, have, you have to go in and get it too, don't you? They did, Dave, and they took it down down to the lab to say, but we're pretty sure it's human. <laughs> I guarantee it's human. <laughs> what do you think? A fox went in there and did it? it's human in there. Oh, man. that's a, Well, yeah, anything in the pool. I mean, creature's not going to go in there no, and use it. No, no. An animal. And, fi- no. and finally, here we go. One man in Texas will never celebrate the 4th of July again. 43-year-old Pablo Ruiz died, presumably doing what he loved, setting off bootleg fireworks. Ah, again, yet again. It was nearing midnight on the night of the 4th when first responders in San Antonio got a call about a serious injury. And from what authorities can tell, Pablo, who had been drinking, according to all the witnesses, had been setting off bootleg fireworks all night, decided to do something unusual. This may have been his grand finale. I don't know. And maybe people do this every year with homemade bootleg fireworks, and I'm just it's just new to me. But Pablo had some heavy-duty stuff. He had those mortar-looking rounds. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. And for his finale, he put one on his head and was going to shoot the mortar mm-hmm. you know, off of his oh, head. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. But mm-hmm. in his drunken state, yeah, he put it on there upside down. Oh! <laughs> you think that's what did it? <laughs> well, oh, when they pieced no. together what was left of his skull. They said yes. <laughs> oh man, that yeah. is, that's horrible. He, he died before EMPs could get him into the ambulance. That is awful. Oh, of Pablo. course he did. Of course he did. Evan, you're talking about trampoline parks. Biggie had an experience. Go ahead. Hey, uh, P1 from Greensboro here. Love the show. Thank you. Um, I was a I was a part of a adult trampoline dodgeball park here in Greensboro, mm. and uh, on the very first night that we went to play around, I was uh, on a you know a, a different trampoline than the dodgeball arena, and I was warming up. I grew up with trampolines, you know, very familiar with them. I tried to do a backflip and 
slipped on the landing and hit my head, the back of my head on the padding that covers the uh, springs. Mm-hmm. And you would think it's, you know, somewhat soft, but it's, it's not. It's a very dense foam that covers it and ended up getting a concussion. Um, I, I couldn't get up. I, I tried to get up. My vision was blacked out. Even one of these, you know, like 13, 14, 15-year-old employees said, are you okay? Oh. And uh, mm. proceeded proceeded to play the uh, dodgeball round, but... Uh, there was an incident, and uh, my concussion got the better of me and ended up, you know, using some choice words in a kid's place that you shouldn't, and uh, I was actually banned from the facility. My wife and I were banned from the facility. <laughs> CTE. <God. laughs> Man. Yeah. Man, you dragged your wife down, too. Yeah. That's How's terrible. your head now? I, I did. I did. Mm. She, uh, she kind of set me up, though. She gave me some false information that somebody had uh, told her that she wasn't good at dodgeball, and, you know, and so I took it out on him, and... Oh. She was pulling my shirt back, and, you know, oh, uh, they man. actually sent us the security footage, and they said that the gentleman being pulled back by the lady is no longer welcome in the facility. Man, oh, man. that hurts. Is your head okay? You recovered okay? I did, I did, but, you know, they're, they're extremely dangerous places. Um, they, they should definitely be shut down just like the, uh, the NBA trampoline league or, you know, basketball trampoline league that no longer exists. <laughs> Vaguely remember that. I yeah. do too. They are dangerous, the trampolines. I mean, I told you what my mother said. If you got any kids yes. around you want to get rid of, get a trampoline. What'd you That's get for right. Christmas that year? Trampoline. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Evan. Appreciate yeah. it. I should have a concussion pr- protocol at those places. I'm where they put them in a tent. They do. Back then, you, you just put everybody else in the classroom around the trampoline. <laughs> That's right. That's to throw you back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> <laughs> to get you out of the way. Because right. you the know re- the kids around the edge of the tramp, all they're going to do is move so the rest you can of the keep sixth flying. grader's job was to catch you. That's right. And there was no <laughs> covering over the springs. No. Oh, you know that. Yeah, Naked when, springs. Yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> That's a great place to visit, times by the way. have changed, oh, too. totally. I mean, it used to be men would have duels to the death over dishonoring, you know, <laughs> dishonored my wife. Now it's like... Yeah, I heard you said my wife isn't good at dodgeball. <laughs> we'll settle this at the trampoline park. Hold me back. <laughs> What'd you say about my wife and dodgeball? That's right. That's right. Take your shoes off. I heard. <laughs> Those are not non-skid socks. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. I live dangerous. <laughs> Those are bombas. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I know you buy a pair, they send one to the homeless shelter. No, but still, still. They're but still expensive. Still. All right, now let me tell you, this is great athleticism right. as well. All right. Uh, you, it's Fourth of July related. You know Joey Chestnut won the Fourth of July hot dog eating contest. I do. You? He's unstoppable. 63 hot dogs. In is what? that a record? Ten, no, his record is in the 70s. I, mm. The over-under was 73 and a half, and his record is something over that. It was but, like Wasn't he interrupted? I don't know. I just saw that he uh, Yeah, got somebody some, accosted him on stage. Is that right? I yeah. didn't see that. They part. didn't start over or anything. With that? No, somebody like I don't. Well, even... How can you start over though if you're halfway through? You know. That's yeah, a, he was that halfway through, running. and yeah. somebody wearing a costume of some sort. Really? Maybe Star Wars, maybe something other. But like accosted him, and then Joey put him in a chokehold and continued eating. My God! Wow, that's even more impressive. How I miss that? I didn't see it. I just I read the number sixty three. Yeah, and the closest to him is like forty something. Yeah, he kills. It. He obliterates it. I mean, people. year after year after year, he's the all-time great. And we thought Kobayashi was going to be the all-time great. And Chestnut, he changed the game by I yeah. think adding the water and eating them in pieces. Right, You're right. But Chestnut blew him and just out of the he water. He took his tactics and yeah. just made him better. So here's my son's question. All right, who do you take in a 100 meter dash? Joey Chestnut versus Usain Bolt. But when the gun goes off, before you can leave the starting blocks, you have to eat one hot dog. <laughs> so one chestnut mm. eats it in two seconds and then goes and he's gone and it takes him 15 seconds to run them right whatever but, that's a good, but pretty good bolt pace. has to take time to eat the hot dog because that's kind of you know if you're not used to that it takes you what 30 seconds to eat a hot dog maybe less yeah you, i bet more you think more for a novice so i said immediately well i take bolt and then my son said no everybody's taking chestnut because mm. if you eat huh. it if you eat a hot dog in five seconds and then you go and it takes you 20 seconds total how long does it take a, a, somebody who's not a professional eater to eat a hot dog? Chestnut yeah. could be at the finish line. You think could still be still eating hot dog, eating yeah. the, the tail end. Exactly. I would take I would take Joey Chestnut. Chestnut, 
because he's going to wow. he's going to get off the starting blocks way before Usain Bolt. Mm-hmm. But Bolt can run the hundred meters in what seven, nine, nine seconds? Nine yeah. seconds, right? <laughs> so if he ever, <laughs> it's all about the dog. <laughs> it's all about the hot dog. That's right. I thought that was so because my son, my son, he baited me in. Yeah, he, what he what he baited me in. He said, "Who do you take in a hundred meter dash between Joey Chestnut oh. and Usain Bolt?" And I said, oh, "Usain Bolt." <laughs> And he said, duh, Dad, of course. But first, they have to eat the hot dog. Uh, and then yeah. it's like, oh, wait a you minute. You might have half cocked. And I do that a lot. I do that a lot. That's part right. Part of your charm. Correct. <laughs> well, part of it. I'll tell you this. That <laughs> caller's dodgeball story reminded me, again, play in pickle. This is two weeks ago, before the massacre on the 4th of July. <laughs> yeah, the 4th of July bloodletting. Shot her around right. the world. And this was, I was out at a little park we go to from time to time. In the, the one in the... Difficult neighborhood. This is where you still had goals and dreams. Yeah, back when I really thought I could be something. And it was packed. It was full. And there was no courts to be had. And a young couple came walking up. Now, I was sitting on a bench waiting to play, but I was with my usual group. Mm. And the couple went up to another group, and they said, I'm sorry, we're, we're playing here. We're full. Like, they wouldn't let them play, mm. you know. And the woman got mad. And she goes, F that. That's wrong. You know, she was really upset because no one would let them play. And as they were walking away, I was sitting on the bench, and the husband said, you're not going to get anywhere with that. You have to be polite to their generation. They don't understand this. <laughs> <laughs> he said, that generation, you got to treat them with, you know, you catch more flies with honey. And I was just sitting there like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? Right. That's right. <laughs> she stormed off all bad. Yeah. 